Okay, so in this short screencast, um, wireframes in viewports and renders. Yeah. So here's 3D Studio Max. Um, this wireframe has been applied to the material, so when we render it, it's going to have the wireframe on the material. So this creates some really cool um, tech effects. Yeah. Um, as you can see, this material doesn't have the wireframe. You know, we can do wireframe display in the viewport, but this box will still render out as a solid. So if you want um, to have the wireframes rendering out from your viewport, um, take it back to shade it, you have to make sure that the material with the wireframe is going to um, have the wireframe applied in the material. So there you go, so take the wireframe off. All you do is a standard material, press Y here. You can increase the size if you want. That makes the wireframe thicker, so when you come to render it will be thicker or thinner. Um, so there you go, that's how you get your cool sort of tech renders with wireframes in 3D Studio Max. Obviously you can add to it, you can have a composite, so you can have solids behind the wireframes, etc, etc, but this is the basic technique. Okay, so if, as if by magic we go to render and we've got the cycles render set up, and then we've got again um, the London um, scene that I modeled of the, so around the embankment, and basically what we do on this, we might think, yeah, let's add a wireframe on the material, but the best way I've found to do it is we go to, we actually use a modifier, so we add modifier, make sure this is selected, and you go to wireframe here, wait for it to load, and it should, yes, yes, and it's done it, <laughs> and basically now the material has a wireframe applied to it, so when we render with it, then again, like 3D Studio Max, it will render you know, with a wireframe on it for your cool tech effects. So, again, Blender can do the same thing, similar things as 3D Studio Max does, just with a different process, this time with a modifier rather than applying it onto material. So that's great. So any comments, questions, please ask. Um, check out my website, www.jamesableart.com, for more resources and some of my own artwork, and also my YouTube channel has loads and loads of stuff on as well. Right, speak, hope to speak to you later. Cheers, bye.